The rain that brought flooding to much of Queensland in the last days of 2010 also unloosed hundreds of landslides in the ranges of central Queensland. Grazier David Benn reports from the Arcadia Valley. Um, Matthew, we'd had a very wet December and the, on the 27th we had, would have had probably 7 to 8 inches in a few hours and we awoke in the morning to we could all hear a roaring and none of us could quite work out what it was. Some of us thought it was planes and some thought it was rivers but it wasn't it for a few hours later when the rain eased up and we looked out and saw that there was not just the odd landslide but dozens of them all along our ranges and there are mountains here in Arcadia Valley now where I think it's conservatively say that a third of the face of the mountain has been stripped away. No stock were lost on the landslides but on the Benz property, rock and muddy debris spewed up to one and a half kilometres out into the paddocks. There were some infrastructure losses and some near misses, as David Ben relates. We've got one dam that is completely full of silt. There's not a, not a gallon of water left in it. And these troughs that we're standing next to, we've got three troughs where the, all that's visible are these steel rings on top. Everything else has been buried. I wandered around here whinging for two weeks and then I saw the Lockyer Valley and I heard about the cotton farmers and I haven't been whinging since.